Ho, ho, ho. Welcome to a brute forcing day here on Trihack Me. It's day three on Advent of Cyber. So today we're going to talk about how we can brute force our way into a login panel. Now there are many different kinds of login panels we can brute force. Now you can do like HTTP protocols, you can do FTP protocols, or other different kinds of protocols. <clears throat> Today's objective when you read the story is that we're going to brute force our way through into a three digit pin machine, something like that. So let's look at what we're going to do. So this is to simulate a uh, ATM machine in some way, like you putting in some code, and then you know, you got different kind of uh, choices to get access. If you do this uh, picture right here, it says that a password length for uppercase look at, uh, and digitals or digits, there we go have a number of possible passwords, right? So in this case, we're going to do a run the uh, the password generator called crunch uh, in order to generate a password list. Now, before we do that, let's just go ahead and check out what we're going to brute force. Gonna copy paste the URL in, and this is the actual one. So we can do something like that and press continue and access denied. When you see this, this is the error code. Access denied is what we're gonna go ahead and remember right now because in a few seconds, I'm gonna show you the command. It's also in the tutorial and why we do write access denied. If you scroll down after read all this, you will notice that you're gonna go ahead and generate a password list called, uh, there you go. Where was it one more time? There you go. Called three digits.txt. Now using the tool called crunch, you say like, I want to generate a list of passwords, uh, three digits using all these different kind of characters. Now this is of course given. In a real scenario, if you're going to go ahead and brute force something like that online, you would have to verify which kind of letters, characters, special characters is used in the password. If you do not know, well, then you may be better off using an actual password list like RockU that contains a lot of uh, passwords that was used in the past from many different kinds of people. You can also go ahead and try different other kind of password lists. But in this particular case, we're bound to get success pretty fast because it's a three digit lock combination. We're generating the three first number of a minimum length and the second number of the maximum length generated password. So three, space three, and the characters used for the password and the dash O for the output. This is the file.txt. All right, so it also shows it right here. It should take you not that long, you know, maybe 10 seconds or something. If you have a slow computer, maybe 30 seconds. So using the password list, you're gonna go ahead and scroll down to the Hydra command. Now Hydra is a program that can, you know, execute brute force methods, so it can uh, brute force a way through. Since we have no username, we're gonna leave that out, you know, with a blank field, with a small L for no username, a capitalized P for providing a password list. And then we're gonna go ahead and you can actually read all the different kind of um, arguments here. Uh, for if stops when you find the working password, that is a default one, you know. Um, V is for verbose, is whenever you've got some error and something like that, you're gonna post it out to the screen. If you don't have tag V on, you will not get spanned on the screen. I'm gonna show you that just in a second, how it looks, so you don't get surprised. And the actual IP address, and this is an HTTP post form, because in the HTTP protocol, we've got different kind of methods like get, post, put, delete. Since this is a post, this is what you usually and normally use for the login formulas, that is the one. <clears throat> then we're gonna go ahead and provide the path. It's a slash login. If you go ahead and check out the, um, go right here back, you can go ahead and, and click continue, for example, just on something. You can see that you're getting this access denied. So press control U or right click and view page source. You can scroll in and probably you can go ahead and find the form here. And you can see that the method is provided right there, the method as a post. And the action is login.php, which is gonna be the file where we send the request to. So that is why we have slash login. If we had another path we were on, 
for example, we were on different path, you would have to supply that there. And then it says pin, and this is going to be replaced by every single line of password that we generated in the password list. And now we come to the part where I remember where it says access denied. Okay, so you press on something and get access denied. Hydra is a tool that can detect these kind of things. So putting a colon in between here, in between the um, parentheses and the uh, quotations, it's gonna say, this is the error you should uh, look for as a false login. And then tag S in, in, in the bottom, indicate the port number of the target, right? So we're gonna uh, go ahead and run this right here. You will get a lot of these uh, page redirected. And that's because you're gonna supply the tag V uh, that provide a verbose output. And it could be helpful for catching errors. It says, yeah, but also spam your screen. Now I'm gonna go, show, go ahead and show you what is the the way the way it actually looked so i found the password is six uh f five let's go ahead and put that in just to verify six uh f five i'm gonna go ahead and do something blah 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 uh let's reset uh six f five one more time go in do something test backup power unlock door and there we go we got the flag so let's go ahead and copy paste the flag just the flag please copy pasting is difficult ah. let's only copy paste the flag uh, gonna be difficult there we go copy paste go back put it in right here and we did the room all right so the way it actually looked on my computer is I'm gonna, you can see the small scroll bar here. It's like a big long chunk, you know, it's a big chunk of stuff. And this is the way it looked when you ran the actual command. You can just copy paste it directly from Tragmas tutorial. And <clears throat> if you miss the tag V, you will not get all these, you know, errors. And you may think something is wrong, I understand. But just remember that in the end, everything will be fine and you're golden. You're gonna get the password and you will be done. Brute forcing is basically, as you notice right now, you're just gonna try one password at a time until you get a successful response. All right, so I think for now, this is the video. We completed it. We're done and we used Crunch to generate a password list. We used Hydra to brute force. So happy Christmas, almost time. For the next day, it's gonna be very fun. We already know what it is. So let's be happy and look forward for day four. Have a nice day, bye.